waste some like several weeks in training like wrong model. Everyone who trained a model has war stories. We asked top researchers to share theirs. I'm uh, uh, Zai Xiang, I'm from uh, Messina Research Scientist at Bydance, and we are uh, doing AI for science, use generated AI for like to uh, solve some like uh, biological problem. And today I'm uh, presenting our research on uh, doing a uh, all atom generated model to designing protein complexes for like functional protein design. And could you share a model training moment that didn't go as planned? Yeah, so we trained on the model use like protein data, protein, protein sequences and protein structures. And in our model, we use some, you know, some a triangle attention or IPA module that require a high pre precision. We train our model in a mixed precision manner. It can kind of, you know, uh, resulting in some like a uh, lot of spiking or no conversion problem. And we try to solve this problem by disable the automatic precision casting. And what was the very first anomaly that told you something was off? You can see the training, the loss is, is spiking. And then you're trying to like evaluate your model. You can try uh, you can generate uh, uh, the mass, or they produce some like uh, NAND gradients. And are you able roughly uh, how much compute or you know time was wasted until you identified the issue? For like each stage, I think we waste some like several weeks or uh, in training like wrong model. What did the final fix uh, end up looking like? Trying to do some like gradient cleave and force the the precision into like a higher precision and then trying to like make your data less noisy, we'll do some more data data engineering part. Is there a particular metric or maybe like a set of metrics that you're now especially cautious about, especially keeping an eye on? I think gradient, the norm of gradient and, uh, and the loss is, uh, is a good sign for like monitoring the, the models. Training.